So I just put, I mean, I know you're meant to use just a couple of drops, but I have got really dry skin. So I, you can feel it just, literally, it drinks it up. first thing in the morning but this bathroom is so unglamorous um, so I thought I'd find a more uh, flattering location it's half past six in the morning my gym is open so I think I'm going to go down to my gym take all my products and show you my early skin routine in my gym and hopefully no one will come through the door because they won't allow me to, to film in there um, this is by the way my hoodie from me and M and it's really lovely and snug first thing in the morning. So, right, follow me, I'm going down to the gym. The end of Marylebone High Street. I'm in my gym and I'm gonna try and film my beauty routine, but um, I don't think I'll be able to do it if anyone's around. So I'm gonna try and do it, I'm wearing a towel by the way, I'm not naked, um, before anyone comes in the changing room, so I might be a bit hurried. If you hear hair dryers, it's because they're doing their hair, no makeup on them. Well, and then on top of that, I put some hyaluronic. Which is, oh my god, I'm so sorry, that was really rushed. Um, it's because I'm in my gym, I shouldn't be filming in here at all. And there was someone drying their hair who I think was getting a bit upset. I'm now going to go down and sit in the steam. I might show you the steam. Oh, no, I probably won't. Why are you producing today? Because. So we're upping the game here. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy a change? No. I'm very happy. In your old ways. In my old ways. <laughs> your hair looks so good again, it's that. Thank you. So, um, we, uh, Gapreet yes. is producing today. Gapreet, I've had a bit of a problem. <gasps> I've been trying to do my morning beauty routine. In a toilet. And a you said to me, because my... Can you get me in trouble now? You, well, you got me into trouble. So <gasps> my bathroom has my tights hanging up drying in the background. So As I you couldn't... do. Why do you have your tights hanging Well, dry? because I don't live in a palace like you. So, um, so she lives in a I mansion. In fact, we have filmed Gapreet's house. I don't know what video that was, actually. A while ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. But if you hunt through, you'll see it. Um, so I live in um, a very tiny flat. And my bathroom is so small. Beautiful. But I, it's no good for filming my beauty room. Okay, things. so I gave you a suggestion. So I go into the Langham Hotel. Yeah. She says, "I'll oh, film it in the toilets at the Langham Hotel. It's quite five a... star hotel." I'm. I've set up my camera and right. I start to film, and these this woman comes out of the cubicle behind me, and I just thought she's going to report me to the concierge. So then I went to my gym. Would you believe? Oh, so you stopped filming in there? I hardly started, Capri. I went it? to my gym. Two women came into the gym and. Oh said what are you doing so i had to stop filming i would do that in the gym i would not let you film in the gym no well they were wandering around half naked and exactly. i said oh the camera's can't. only on me no but you can't do that so i don't know where i think i know where we can do it you're not coming around mine the toilet <laughs> toilet here Jude, at there's always someone in there for hours no there won't be because i'll be in there for hours doing my makeup so oh i'm going to do God. it in there i'm going to put a note outside i'm going to do it tomorrow I'm so gonna joe good middle-aged mink studio and that will come up next. Okay, so I've decided to come back. I'm in my flat and I've created my own little setup because I suddenly realized for my morning routine, I don't actually need the basin. I'm not gonna be using water uh, because I've just got out of the shower. And uh, do you know when I move, I'm gonna make sure I have the perfect bathroom mirror with lights all around like a dressing room so that I, I want to be like Trini. I want a Trini type mirror. Meanwhile, here I am in my studio flat in Marylebone making the most of it. 
But I guess the important thing is just for you to know what I put on my skin, even if you're interested in what I put on my skin, but I'm always interested to know people's morning routines. So I start off with and I've talked about this before. This is the Maria Novella uh, Rose Water, which is Santa Maria Novella, it is actually. And you get this from Santa Maria in the Royal Arcade just outside Piccadilly, just off the Strand. So this is a rose water that I use as a toner. And in the morning, I try to keep my routine really simple. It's weird though, because you start, the more you learn, and I'm sure you're the same, the more you start to bring new products in. But people like Nadine, she said to me, you know, if you use a lot of good serums, you don't actually need to overload your face with moisturizer. So after my Maria Novella rose water, I then apply the Sarah Chapman Skinnesses, and it's called Morning Facial. Sarah Chapman is a facialist who practices in London um, and I'm sure you can probably get her products in um, her own salon but uh, next actually next do an online beauty uh, outlet so I got this off the next website um, because I love Sarah Chapman it's the first time I've ever used actually used her products so this is called Skin Assist and it's the morning facial so I just put I mean I know you're meant to use just a couple of drops but I have got really dry skin so I you can feel it just literally it drinks it up do you know that this is lovely I'm just looking out at the sky it's uh, gonna be a beautiful day it's a lovely sunrise out there if you can hear any background noise it's Matilda snoring um, so yeah, that, so that's Sarah Chapman. I then follow it with a hyaluronic, uh, which is Niod. Now, you probably know The Ordinary. This is by, I think, the same company, but it's one grade better, if there is such a thing. So it's the Niod Hyaluronic, and I do a couple of drops of that. And I just put that, I use Trini says she doesn't believe in neck creams. She just uses what she uses on her face, on her neck. I've got to get my neck sorted out. I've got to get my face sorted out. But anyway, so that's that. And it's nice to give a good old pat. And then I use Yves Lom, And you will know on my nighttime routine that I once interviewed Yves Lom. I love Yves Lom. And I use a tiny little bit of her rose and geranium moisturizer under my eyes. I don't ever use an, an eye cream because I don't, I actually don't believe in eye creams and neck creams. I know people are gonna flinch when I say that, but I just know what suits my skin. And when it's really dry, the Evlon moisturizer is perfect. That is it, that is it. And then I don't wear, as you know, I don't wear foundation. I just, uh, I'll, I'll do a separate video of what um, makeup I use on my face. But I will then use, because I never wear false eyelashes, and I'm trying to use as little mascara as possible. This is Revital Lash, and it's like a, an eyelash conditioner, which you use like eyeliner. Actually, I'm meant to use this to go to sleep in, but I use it in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and then put my mascara on top. So that is it. How does this look as a setup? As best I can do. Right, then I'm going to apply the makeup, but that's a separate video. This is Vera. Oh gosh, this is the light. This is Vera, who is a, a professional photographer. Me, who's totally unprofessional, I'm walking I'm in Matilda's bowl. Um, Dogs in the City, the podcast. The third series is going to be launched this week. And to launch it, we have a new cover photograph. Now, Vera took the original, the very brilliant photograph of me walking down Regent Street in a blue cape with Matilda. We are now doing um, the, the third series photograph, but we're restricted in that it's night time. Vera couldn't get away until night, and I'm on air until night. So we're making the most of it. Now, we've done amazing shots outside. This one, Vera, is inside, but what I need to make me look younger for my vlogs 
is, I don't know if this will work, that light is brilliant. Vera, I could do my makeup with that light and it would, there. So let me see if I'm lit like ah, on the side. Is it on the side? Does it make me look younger? Depends. <laughs> Vera's bed <laughs> depends on how old I think I want to look. I'm going to get one. Are they called circle lights? Rotor lights. Rotor lights. I'm going to have to get one of those. Anyway, we're doing a setup now. Matilda's had her dinner. You ready for your close up? You ready for your close up, Matilda? Mm hmm. Cheer it up. We're filming the cover photograph for Dogs in the City, the award nominated Dogs in the City podcast. So we've got Matilda and her cousin Flora and the Vera, the wonderful, talented Vera, behind this camera, actually. Uh, Flora's owner, Susie, who is one of my oldest friends from drama school, and we're in Marylebone High Street, causing chaos. Um, and look at, look at Flora's Diamante collar. She's all dressed for the occasion, and Matilda's just thinking about her dinner. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cross the road. Good luck with this, Vera. I think they're going to need it. And I'm in Stella McCarthy. <laughs> So that is it from me this week. The Dogs in the City podcast, the third series, has just gone up online. Um, the first of it is with Matt Edmondson from Radio 1. So please go online and find it on BBC Sounds and give it a thumbs up. Also, thanks to all of you. Look, slowly I am getting up there. Slowly my subscribers are increasing. If I get to 100,000, YouTube will send me a plaque that I can put on my bijou flat wall. Um, so this week's walker is Kate. Kate is walking this week across the Carnaby Street Lady. I'll catch up with you next week. Leave a comment. I try to reply to every single comment. Have a great week. See you next Sunday. Bye. I'm walking.